organizing the parts of the drawing. Double tap the name of the group and you can change the name of the group too. You can only work in the activated group and other groups don't get affected. Draw the guide for the wing in the right place. Let's draw half of the wing and duplicate it symmetrically. Activate select mode here. Select the strokes you need to duplicate by rubbing on them. Need to duplicate the drawing symmetrically, so activate one of the mirrors. Then duplicate symmetrically with the mirror by this icon. Other icons are also for duplicating strokes, but in the different ways. Actually, just draw with the mirror activated and you can see the lines drawn symmetrically immediately. An airplane is a symmetric object, so let's keep the mirror activated. Right now, the airplane looks flat at some angles. Draw a 3D guide from the front or the side, so the guide can be about in the middle of the body of the airplane. As you drew what the airplane looks like from the side, we do the same from the top. Erase the stroke that you don't need anymore. Repeat drawing the 3D guide, then a stroke, and continue drawing the form of the plane. To draw the seat, draw a guide following the shape of the seat and draw a stroke of the width of the seat from the top. Now, draw the strokes that can show the volume of the airplane of different parts, the front, middle, tail, and back of the seat. An airplane needs propellers. Touch the draw icon to draw neatly and check the icon has changed. They aren't symmetric, so you don't need mirrors at this moment. Then draw a circle by the center point in the size you want. To shortly show how to draw neatly, you can draw a circle and change the size, draw straight and change the direction. Also, just draw as you do and the wibbly wobbly lines get in shape. Come back to the propeller and draw the guideline for the size and the center. Draw one blade of the propeller and select to duplicate it. Set the center of the propeller to the center cross on the screen. Copy it in the same location by this icon and rotate the selected strokes by the center using the joystick. This icon on the very right is to lock the transformation. It makes the strokes rotate by 15 degrees or move vertically and horizontally. Without it, you can move the strokes freely. Duplicate the propeller and rotate it to the right position. Draw some lines so the propeller looks like spinning. Draw the center of the propeller and it's done. Now let's color the airplane. To color it in 3D, we need a form of 3D guide that can fill this form. So draw the 3D guide as we always did, but this time we will bend it once by pressing this icon. The baseline is the starting point of the 3D guide, and after pressing this icon, the 3D guide gets bent by the line you draw after. It might look tricky, but more explanation about this function is in the other video. Make the guide into a form that can almost fill in the body of the airplane. To make it more fit, touch the guide with the pencil for a while until it gets green to select it. Then transform the size using the joystick. You can stretch it in the direction you want. Choose the color you want and start coloring. Sorry, you can't fill something in at once, so it might take a while as using colored pens. When you need the color you have used before, use this icon and pick the stroke you need. It actually picks up the style, thickness, and opacity of the previous stroke at once. Again, draw a 3D guide to color the back of the seat. This is a biplane, so there should be another wing underneath. 
So select the whole wing by using the group panel and pressing the wing group for a while. As we did, duplicate it and use the joystick to move the wing and rotate it. Also, you can select the parts of the wing underneath and change the color to make it look darker as if it has a shadow over this wing. Lastly, don't forget to draw the wheels. Since the part is straight and round, it is easier to draw neatly. Maybe some more decorations? Feel free to draw any more details you want. Actually, even change the form. We hope you get your own style and show us. Draw the pilot, some decorations, bolts, pins, wires, etc. Last but not least, in the Others tab, you can change the environment of this note. Change the color of the background, get the grid away, check the fog effect, and get even all the icons away. Get all the icons back by the button on your left, we hit this icon here. Save the best view as the thumbnail here. Export your fascinating work in images, 360 degrees spinning GIFs, or in 3D files in OBJ or GLTF format for further 3D work. Don't forget to show it to the world through any platform you are in. Please let us know what your airplane looks like. Thank you for watching the video and please follow us for more tips and news about Feather. See you!